I started the gym for the same reason as most people, to look good naked. I mean, to look aesthetic. After training day in and day out for a few years, I had all the parts of an aesthetic physique. The big lats, the big shoulders, but there was something missing. My chest. I trained it hard twice a week and I could bench press a decent amount, but it still looked kind of but around six months ago, I completely changed up my training. And in those six months, I've made more progress than the past one or two years. So what did I change? Now, before you attack me, let me explain. My bench press was always decent. I'd managed to get a 120 kilo bench at 69 kilo body weight. But all it had given me was some fat triceps and some girthy shoulders, which sounds great, but unfortunately my chest was still lacking. No matter how hard I tried, I could just never really feel my chest on bench. So, I stopped. I replaced it with a flat converging plate loaded press. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not some optimal kid that preaches doing upside down backpack loaded tricep wanks, but I do believe that using a movement that converges allows you to bring your arms across your midline is ultimately gonna let you feel and target your chest a lot better. Don't get me wrong, I love benching and it can get you great results, but if your main goal is building a massive chest, I do believe there's better alternatives. Tip number two, I stopped switching exercises. Yes, I'm aware that might sound silly because I just told you I switched exercises, but hear me out. Let's just for one minute imagine. Your training's going great, you're gaining muscle, you're getting stronger, and then bam, you're watching TikTok one day and this comes up. Stop doing that exercise because this is better. You ditch your current exercises, start new ones, and then in a month's time, bam. New research has just come out showing that exercise is not the best, this is. And there you go. You're so obsessed with making sure you've got the most optimal exercises that you've ditched one of the fundamental parts of building muscle. Progressive overload. Constantly searching for a better exercise to grow your chest is just going to end up with you not making progress because it's become completely impossible to measure it because you keep changing exercises. I've chosen to stick with three movements. A flat machine press, an incline machine press and a pec deck. Tip number three, I slowed down. It's not always a race to the finish line. Trust me, boys, you don't always want to be the one to come first. But seriously, you've got two parts of any exercise, the concentric and the eccentric. On the concentric, you don't really want to be slowing it down much. You want to produce as much force as possible. But on the way back down, go slow, treat her nicely and really feel that stretch. Not only is it going to be better for muscle growth, but it will also allow you to standardize your form. In my early days of training, I found it was really easy to get mixed up between getting stronger and just having progressively worse form over time. So instead of that, really try and feel that stretch and contraction in your chest in whatever movement you're doing. And of course, keep the same form from week to week. It can also actually be a good idea to film your sets to make sure they're always the same. It can seem daunting, but hardly anyone cares. And if they do, f*** them. And there you go. There are my three tips to building a huge succulent chest. If you want my full training plan to train exactly the way that I do, it's in the description.